Hey guys, what's up? It's John. I just want to update you guys because there's going to be a few changes to the channel. The first thing I want to get out of the way is the newsreel. The deal with that is why I didn't put it up because, well, I recorded it and, you know, I just didn't have enough time to put it up. And then I realized after looking at it, you know, stuff that I'm giving is still, you know, the stuff that I gave last week is still pretty recent, so, you know. I think maybe I should do it a little less frequently, so I'm going to move it to every, uh, this first Saturday of every month I'll start doing the newsreel. Now, the next thing I want to say is, from the 20th of August to the 31st of August, I'm not going to be around. I'm going to be in the Philippines visiting family, so just bear with me for that time. I'm going to see if I can get any imported games from that area, you know, maybe I can get something, you know, like Asian territory games, or maybe they'll even have Japanese games, because Jap Japan's like that far away, but yeah, I mean, I'll see what I can do out there, you know, and uh, maybe even get some Filipino consoles, I don't know, like, the Mega Drive, like, I don't know what they got there, so I really don't know what to expect. Uh, another thing is, starting in September, I'm going to launch Dreamcast month, celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Dreamcast, where I'm going to be talking about Dreamcast games and reviewing Dreamcast games, and doing Dreamcast related discussion topics. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to start stop doing the, the uh, collection updates and all, but for the most part it's going to be Dreamcast related, and you know, I'm mainly going to be getting some Dreamcast games, you know, even though I burn them, I'm going to start you know, or I did burn them at the time, you know, I basically have everything now, but, you know, I'm going to start, you know, buying a couple of things here and there, maybe, it's Dreamcast related, and, yeah, that's it, you know, I got a couple games coming in the mail, I got, uh, um, a few, uh, a few new games I'll showcase, and the next collection update, I just gotta wait for these games to come in the mail, and, yeah, um, I just finished Castlevania Lament of Innocence, which is a game that I got a couple days ago, brand new, for free, my friend just had it. What happened is my friend ordered it, and they sent him two copies, and they wouldn't return one of them, so he gave me that copy for free. And I finished that game in four hours and 44 minutes. So it was a really short game, but was it satisfying? Yes. But I recommend it? Yeah, it's very cheap these days. Um, you can probably get it for like 10 bucks or so. You know, it's really satisfying, especially if you're a Castlevania fan. It really tells you about the beginning of the Belmont clan well and how the vampire killer came along and all that stuff so if you're really into Castlevania and you haven't played that game and you want to get a little more of a backstory go ahead and play it it's a very good game for the time it lasts and you know of course Castlevania being Castlevania they'll give you a couple extras two different ways how to replay it you can replay it with a different character and you can replay it in a different mode so yeah there we go um, I'm gonna do a full review on that maybe. I don't have a capture device, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'll probably just be in front of the camera talking. Cause you know the TV doesn't look so good. Um when you bring the camera up to it. And yeah, um what else? Yo, yeah, oh, any game zone. You know, I talked about it in the Magus discussion topic, but I'll talk about it again in Game Zone, you know. I'm a part of that, so is Forest Live, Christian Cage, Shintai123, um, Phone999, Benzo8686, Kage Okami, uh, Swordfish1390, you know, Magus, Alex from Games and Me, Crazy Kenby, and, you know, a bunch of other guys, um, we used to have nice chess 689, but he, he left because he thought that it was going to be it was a little too stressful for him. You know, he wants to, you know, back off and focus on work and school, which is very cool. You know, he's a good guy. So, you know, I wish the best of luck for him in the future that, you know, he will do, he will do well in school and so on. And, uh, yeah, Q&A, uh, yeah, I'm going to have the answers to that pretty soon, you know. But anyways, guys. That's it for now, and this is John Hamilton.